Here we are in step number three of the Bantu knot hairstyle. In this step, I will show you how to take down your Bantu knots and I will also show you how to fluff the roots of your hair. So before we begin taking down our knots, I will show you how your hair must look before you begin. So this is similar to what your Bantu knots should look like once all of your knots have been twisted and dried. So now I will finally show you how to take down your bantu knots and how to fluff the roots of your hair. So now that you are ready to take down your bantu knots, we are going to begin. So I'm going to take my olive oil that I use to seal the moisture into my hair and I'm just going to spray a little bit of it into my hands and lubricate my fingers to take down my knots. So I just spray just a little bit. And I take my main fingers and I just lap up some of the oil in my hand. And then once my fingers have been lubricated, I'm going to grab one of my Bantu knots and I'm going to twist in the opposite direction to unravel it. So if you don't know which direction to twist in, just pick a direction. So I'm going to twist to the right. And I feel that my Bantu knot gets tighter, so that means I need to twist the other way around. So I'm going to twist the other way around and then I start to feel it get looser. That's the direction you want to go. You don't want any resistance when you're taking down your bantu knot because if you have any resistance, you should twist in the other direction. So now you're just going to continue to twist and as you can see, it's starting to unravel and my roots are starting to get a little bit untwisted. So you can use your other fingers to help you unravel the rest just a little bit more. You don't want to pull on your hair, you just want to gently unravel and smooth your strands with your oiled fingers as you work your way down. Just like that. So now once more I'm going to lubricate my fingers. You don't have to lubricate your fingers every single time you take down your bantu knot, but it's best to do that to provide extra slip and extra coating of oil onto your strands. So I'm going to take my olive oil once again. I'm going to spray just a little squirt in my hand. You don't need a lot of oil. You're going to take your fingers, lap up your oil, rub it into your hand, and start taking down your other knot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist it in a direction that gives me no resistance, and I'm going to continue to turn that twist until I work my way down, and gently slide my fingers to the bottom, and then I can release. So that's the same thing that you do to all of your twists to unravel them. Now I'm going to work on this section here. A little bit of oil, rub it into my fingers, then I'm going to unravel this twist. This way gives me more tension and it gives me resistance and stops me from unraveling. So I want to twist in the other direction. Then use your hands to just gently rub all the way down to the bottom, really softly, to unrelease that bantu knot. So now I'm going to finish taking down the rest of my knots on my head. So now that all of your bantu knots have been released and unraveled, we will begin as I show you how to fluff the roots of your hair with an afro pick. So 
So now that your bantu knots have released, we are ready to start fluffing the roots of our hair. So in my hand here, I have an afro pick, and it doesn't matter which size teeth you have, you just want enough teeth on your comb, and you want long teeth to help you to lift the roots of your hair. So when lifting the roots of your hair, you do not want to drag the pick all the way up from roots to end. You just want to lift a little bit up of the ways, about a third to about half of the way up your bantu knot. So now I'm gonna start on this section here. And what I'm going to do is take my Afro pick and I'm going to slide in firmly against the roots of my hair. So I'm gonna press the pick here. I'm gonna slide straight in right underneath this group of Bantu knots gonna slightly lift up as you can see I am not bringing the pick all the way through I'm just lifting up probably about a fourth of the way to a third of the way then I'm gonna work my way around on the other sides of my bantu knot as well doing this method is supposed to help give you more volume in your look and also to disguise the parts in your hair so you're just going to lift until you get the desired volume that you want or just lift just enough to make sure that none of your scalp is showing in your certain section. So as you can see, my scalp is pretty much covered and if not, you could just continue to fluff. And even if fluffing doesn't provide enough for you, you can simply put your pick down. And then you can just use your fingers to just slightly pull at the roots. Just slightly open the base of your actual bantu knot to widen it up to cover up more of your scalp. Remember, you do not want to separate the bantu knot here at the top. You just want to pull apart your roots just slightly to open it up to create more volume at the base. So now as you can see this section is concealed but in other sections you see my scalp showing. So you want to make sure to go ahead and finish and conceal all of your scalp to complete your look. So in this step of the bantu knot hairstyle I showed you how to take down your bantu knots and also how to fluff the roots of your hair to help you complete your look. So to begin, you want to make sure that you lubricate your fingers with oil and twist in the direction of your knot that gives you the least amount of resistance. Once all of your bantu knots have been unraveled, you will then use your afro pick, slide it against the root of your hair and begin to lift to fluff the roots of your style. This in itself will give you more volume and lift and it will also conceal any visible scalp that you see peeking through your hair. So I only worked on a small section just to show you the process of fluffing the roots of your hair. In the next step, step number four, I will show you the finished results to your Bantu knot hairstyle.